level. Now, I do not want to be political here, but what if at some point of time you will want to add the functionality to ban or unban users under certain conditions in your Ruby on Rails application? Well, for this, you can use device lockable. So there is this strategy to lock or unlock users' accounts based on different cases. Now, by default, a user's account can be locked if we add lockable based on a few sign in attempts that are not successful. For example, if somebody is trying to brute force log into somebody else's account and tries different passwords, the account can be locked after a number of failed login attempts. Now let's have a look at how device lockable works. Actually, we can go to device.rb inside our application and find lockable, here it is, and look at the options that are set. So by default, there can be a lock strategy that is by failed attempts, or if it is none, then you would uh, set up your own lock strategy. Then the unlock key is usually email, and uh, we can set up which unlock strategy we are going to use if there is going to be an unlock strategy. So a user's account can be unlocked after a period of time, or if he presses uh, unlock my account in his email uh, address, uh, at, his, at his email account, if... Uh, we enable this or we can uh, disable the functionality for user to unlock his account. So only an admin, for example, or somebody with console access can unlock an account. And if we are using the lock strategy based on failed attempts, we can set the number of failed attempts needed to lock a user's account. For example, if you are building a super security application like a bank application, you can disable uh, so lock a user's account for half an hour after, for example, three failed attempts. And uh, you can also, uh, if you are setting up this unlock strategy as time, so a user's account would be unlocked in an hour or in 30 minutes, for example, since it was locked. And uh, you can also enable this last attempt warning. Again, if you're using this lock strategy that is based on failed attempts to let the user know that they have just one attempt left to type in the right password, or their account will be locked either for a period of time or until uh, somebody unlocks him or until uh, he reconfirms uh, uh, via his email address. So now if we just use lock strategy as failed attempts, let's see how it works. Let's say failed attempts and there will be three attempts. And the unlock strategy will be either through email or through root time and we would unlock in one hour. And we will also add this last attempt warning. Okay, then we will also add lockable inside our device inside user.rb. And we would actually need to run the lockable migrations. So going to device, we have this lockable and uh, we would go to the wiki and see what migrations we need. So going here, we have how to add lockable and uh, we see we need to run a migration, something like add lockable to device. And inside the migration, we would add a few fields. So we will add failed attempts. So how many failed attempts the user has had. Then locked at. So if it is nil, it means the user's account is not locked. If uh, there is a date time, it just says when the user's account was locked. And unlock token is needed uh, for users to unlock their account via an email. So I will add this to the migration like this and we'll run rails db migrate. And now I will start the server and try to log in. So I'll take this uh, email address, log out and uh, try to log in a few times with a wrong email address. So the first time it failed. Now again, the second time it failed and it's, you see we have one more attempt before our account is locked. Let's uh, again fail the login and see what happens. So you see your account is locked. So even if we input the right email address, it will say your account is locked, so you cannot log in. And uh, how can the account be unlocked? 
well, you see, now we have this didn't receive unlock instructions. So when our account gets locked, actually an email gets automatically sent. Your account has been locked, due an excessive number of unsuccessful sign-in attempts, and you can go to this link to unlock your account. So I can copy the link and add it here and unlock my account, okay? And you see it says the account has been unlocked and we can continue. So I will now log in and you see it works. I have successfully logged in. So this is the easiest way to add device lockable. Now let's save our changes and then we will add a manual strategy for us to have a button to lock or unlock a user's account. So to ban or unban a user. So we'll say git add all git commit main device lockable based on uh, uh, if uh, password run three times. Okay, and now let's actually create a manual login strategy. So we will comment this all out. We are not going to unlock in case of different attempts, then the unlock strategy will be none. So there will be no option for the user to unlock his account manually. And the lock strategy is going to be none. So we are going to write our own lock strategy. And how are we going to do it? Basically, if we go to device and open lockable, we can see there are a few different ways to check if the access is locked and we can uh, say lock access or unlock access. So we're going to use these. First of all, let's see in our user's view if uh, a user's access is locked at the moment. We'll start the server and go to our user's index and see if a user's account is locked. So let's see, it is access locked. And how do we check it? Access locked should give us true or false. So go into our users and you see access locked is false for everybody at the moment. Okay. And uh, we can actually create a button to lock or unlock access. How will we do it? Well, we will need to add this button in our users link. So it would be something like equals link to uh, ban and we'll need to have a path. It would be something like ban user path at user and the method would be post or patch, patch I guess. Method patch. Okay, let's see if it works. No, we need to actually add a root for this. So we will go to our roots.rb and now we have uh, resources users only index and we would say do and we would add the patch ban. Let's see if it works. Okay, it says uh, undefined method ban user path. We would actually say member do so if we do this with member do, if we actually get a user by ID, otherwise we get a collection. And you see the button exists. Now, if I press the button, we are redirected to the action ban in the user's controller, but this action doesn't exist yet. So we are going to add this action in user's controller. We will add this uh, method ban. And here we would say something. So we would say, we would need to actually find the user by the ID. So we will say user equals user dot find by params ID. And we will say if user has access locked, then we will unlock his access. We will say if user access locked, we will unban him. So how do we do it? We will say unlock access. We'll say at user dot unlock. Otherwise, we will lock the access. So ban the user. Else, user dot lock access. Okay, 
and uh, we are going to redirect to the previous page. So redirect to users path. And we will add a notice that the user access log has changed. So something like user access locked will be either true or false. So we will say at user dot access locked and it will give us either true or false. Okay, let's see if our method works. So I'm going to resend. And you see, now for this user, for this uh, user, yeah, for the last one, we have locked true. So we have this ban button. Now I press ban again, and you see the status changes from true to false. Now actually I will try to ban myself, so it should log us out. You see, I'm using this account. I will press ban. And you see, we were logged out because uh, uh, now our account is locked. So we cannot use the application anymore. Works really well. Now I will log in as this other user. And you see, we have a few users that are locked. And everywhere we have this button ban. So let's say we will conditionally have either the button ban or unban. And uh, how can we do it? Well, let's... Uh, create a helper and we will conditionally show ban or unban. So we would go to our helpers and create a new helper, let's say users helper dot rb and we would say module users helper that inherits, no, we don't actually need to write inheritance here. Okay, and here we would have uh, something like ban status def ban status for the user and we would say uh, if user dot access locked so if the access is uh, locked then we will have uh, the unban button otherwise we will have the ban button uh, something like this and let's uh, show this uh, ban status in our link. So we will say ban status for the user. Now we refresh. Okay, I need another end somewhere here. So, oh yeah, it should be else. Okay. And you see, conditionally I have the word either unban or ban. So, works well. And that's basically it. This is how you can write a custom lock strategy for your application and you can conditionally lock or unlock different users' accounts. So thanks for being with me and uh, have fun coding.